most important lesson that I want to impart to you is the importance of escaping what I call the comparison paradigm. Okay, so you basically have the, uh, the self-acceptance paradigm and the comparison paradigm. And um, let me point out some things to you that you might have never thought about. All right, so say you don't make a lot of money, or let's say that you're not that tall or you're not that good looking. Um, well, think about this for a minute. Imagine you're making uh, 100 grand a year. Okay, you're making $100,000 a year. Sounds like a lot, right? Well, what if I told you that when you make about 100 grand a year, you move into a neighborhood where you probably have friends that are making 500,000 a year or even a million a year? Well, what happens if you move into a neighborhood where people are making a million dollars a year? You're gonna be around people who are making $10 million a year. How about if you make 10 million? You'll be around people making 50 million. Well, do you think that you would feel secure with yourself if you had $50 million a year? You think you would, right? Actually, what I would tell you is that unless you fix the inner issue, you still probably wouldn't. Because when you're making 50 million a year, now you're comparing yourself to people that are called old money. And uh, old money laughs in the face of $50 million a year, okay? Old money laughs in the face of $50 million a year. In fact, um, you will never win. You will never Body win. Body has limitations. The mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. Everything starts from here. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. And that's where the preparation starts. I firmly believe that everybody in this room, everybody on this planet has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. Then it becomes your job to decide whether you're going to act on that or not. Everyone sees the work that you put in, but it's what you don't see is gonna determine how far you're gonna get. I, I, I hear stuff all the time, people say, oh, look in the mirror and you'll see why you're not succeeding. I don't believe that, okay? It's what you don't see in the mirror, that's what's holding you back. It's what you're not willing to see is why talent is not enough. And when you, when you finally see it and accept it and decide to work on it, then you can take that next level. Yeah, who you spend time with is who you become. Because whoever you spend time with affects your beliefs and your values and your need for their love, their attention, their significance will affect. If I'm gonna play tennis and I play someone worse than I am on a regular basis, I am not gonna get better. Right, so you play Agassi. Yeah, I know you do that. Even if you, play, even if you play terrible, your skill sets are gonna grow significantly because of your desire to connect and to play at that level. And I should be the weakest link in my chain that I have and that'll make me be stronger, it'll make me run faster. I mean, like an analogy I've always used is, all right, if you run uh, the 100 yard dash with a, a people that can't run as fast as you, yeah, you'll win, hands down, you know that. But if you run with people much faster than you, all right, yeah, you might come in last every single time, but your time will be better because they're making you run all the faster. They're making, they're making you dig down just a little bit more. It doesn't matter that you won, your time is faster. And that's what I knew I had to do. I had to get out of Loserville and throw myself into a place where like, this is what the fuckers do for a living. <laughs>